All right, in this video, we are gonna root the brand new Nexus 7 FHD 2013 edition, the second gen, you could call it. Uh, this is a stock completely. There's no root access. I've installed a bunch of apps. That's about it. No super issue, never been rooted. I don't even have developer options enabled. And I'm gonna show you that real quick. So under, uh, down here where it says system, you'll see date and time accessibility in about tablet. Where's developer options? It's not there, how can I enable it? I understand most of you probably know how to enable it, but there's gonna be a few of you out there that are like, I don't see it, I don't know where it's at. Go to about tablet, and then go down here to your build number and keep tapping on that. It'll say one step away, bam, you're now a developer. When you hit the back button, you'll see developer options. And from here, you need to enable USB debugging right here, press okay. And if it's off up here, just press on it and turn it on and press OK, and then enable USB debugging again. And that's it, that's all you gotta do. Now we're at the computer, and my air just kicked on, so hopefully you don't hear it too loud, but uh, we went to wugfresh.com, W-U-G-F-R-E-S-H, and shout out to him for putting this together. Uh, I've seen a couple other root videos on the Nexus 7 FHD, from like Droid Monarchs, for example, and I can tell you that after watching his video and seeing this, there's been a few revisions since then. So by the time you follow along with this video, it might be on like 173 or 174 or something. So he updates it quite regularly. Just press on the big blue button and it gives you an idea of like what all it's doing. It fully supports the new Nexus 7 and full 4.3 support. So you'll just go down here until you see the download. Now, I had trouble downloading with Goo.im because their servers were down once again. So I went to DevHost. And when you click on that, it brings up this link right here. And then you just click download. And now that when it's done, you'll just press on it, run. And I have two, I have a second monitor hooked up to my uh, laptop. So every I'm recording my second screen. So I've got to drag stuff over quite frequently. So we just click install. And then it'll give you a little progress down here. And I'll fast forward to this. All right, and then it says, if you don't know, go to your About tablet, just unlock your device, drag down the right side of the notification bar thing, and then hit Settings. Scroll all the way down to About tablet, and then you'll see, mine is the Nexus 7 Wi-Fi version two, and I'm on build JSS15Q. Yours might be different. So I'll hit Apply, and then it's gonna say how to enable USB debugging, and you just saw that, so you can follow along with this or what I did, it doesn't matter, it's both give you the same thing. You will get a prompt with your computer's unique RSA fingerprint. All right, we're gonna plug in the device and do that now. Yep. No? It's gonna be a while. All right, so once we plug in the USB cable and all the drivers are installed, we should see a little pop-up on our screen, and it says, our and allow USB debugging, just press the always accept from this computer and press OK. Now we'll hit the OK button again. And it says modified boot thing, press OK. And then it's trying to download it from Goo.im, but Goose, of course, down again. I don't know when they're actually up and running. It's going to fail to download until he switches to like Android file host or some other server that's normally up and functioning very fast and well. So, yep, there we go. I got a little pop-up saying press OK to download the file manually. And then when you click on it, it launches this link right here and it's gonna fail the download. Oh, mine actually started downloading. All right, and I'll just like click on it and click show in folder, and then I'll move it to my desktop, for example. All right, see, there it is on your screen, the modified thing. Anyways, it's on my desktop, it's on my other screen, so we'll go back to the toolkit here, and then we'll hit browse, and it's on our desktop right here. Hit open, and then apply, and then it's importing modified into the Nexus real toolkit, so press OK for that one. And then that's going to try to download from Goo. And it's not going to go very well. Oh man. Well, if you're watching this video, please use Android File Host. 
their servers are up pretty much most of the time and if they're down it's just for a very short time and they notify people on twitter so please use android file host goo is very very disappointing and has been for several months see it's just not responding it's not downloading and yeah All right, and it popped up like it did before saying, would I like to manually download the file instead? Now what I'm gonna do in the description is I'm gonna link to a mirror, uh, and I'm also gonna link to this link too. This should work. I've never actually had them not download something on here. So this is that same thing. I just Googled Nexus 7 Flow Twerp, and this was the very first link. So yeah, see it started downloading. Takes just a little short while doesn't take long at all all right so that's done again I'll have a link to that in the description below so you won't have to sit there and deal with this incomplete mismatch good I am is down and all that crap so let's press OK and then we'll hit browse and then we'll go to our desktop all right I moved that twerp image to the desktop so there we go open recovery twerp 2600 press open press apply and then it says it's bringing it into the Nexus 7 toolkit. All right. And then for here, I also recommend going to the full driver installation page thing. And it tells you like launch device manager, launch USB thing, uninstall drivers, PDA net drivers, sign drivers, raw drivers, uh, full driver tests. Mine says checking ADB status, device connected, rebooting into bootloader mode. And you can see that on your screen right now, too. Now it's it's the Google Nexus 4 bootloader interface. Should work just the same. I should have recorded my main display. It keeps putting everything on my first screen. Should have recorded that screen instead of that other screen. But uh, waiting for your device. success everything's working well so if you have any issues and it doesn't work just go through all these steps launch device manager launch USB to view uh, uninstall all this stuff just you know if you're having trouble go through all that and do what it says I'm not having trouble so I'm gonna go ahead and continue you can back up and restore your tablet launch advanced utilities root alright so we got the initial setup now we need to unlock the bootloader I can't stress this enough once you unlock your bootloader, you wipe everything. It is gone. Like it, it, it's like you just bought it brand new. You gotta sign into your Google account, redownload all your apps, and all your progress is gone. So, you can create an Android backup system, apps, share data, create Android backup file, backup the virtual SD card where everything is stored when you download files and etc. Backup your text messages, call logs, contacts. Make full backup with custom recovery. Yeah, so make sure you go through all these and if you want to back up your stuff. I knew that when I got this device, I was going to root it right away. So I didn't really get too far in anything, knowing that I would lose everything. So we're going to unlock, and it's going to say this script will unlock your device, enabling you to root it, and ultimately allow you to gain full access to the Android operating system. And just you can keep reading that. We're going to press OK. And it says, in order to unlock, your device needs to be in bootloader mode first. Press and hold volume up, volume down, and the power button. Would you like the script to automatically boot into bootloader mode for you? Press yes if you want the script to automatically boot into bootloader mode now. And press no if you've already manually done it. So I'm going to go ahead and press yes. It says checking ADB status. Device connected. Rebooting your device into bootloader mode. And you're seeing that on the screen right now too. Checking fast boot status. Device connected. I can't drag this one over. It's not letting me, but it says... All right, this is what I'm seeing on my first screen. I had to take a screenshot and show you. It's kind of ghetto, but it says, You should now screen a screen that says unlock bootloader. On your device, highlight yes to unlock with the volume keys. Press the power button, select it. It might take a moment for your device to register that you push the button. 
So we're just gonna press the volume up button and then we're gonna press the power button. Again, I cannot stress that you're losing everything. So don't don't come to me saying, hey, I lost all my freaking stuff. Like, you didn't tell me, because I did. I made it very clear. And there we go. It's unlocking and it's wiping everything. So now it's bootloader is unlocked. It has a little unlock box right there. Letting you know that it is unlocked. And this is running the script that is wiping the entire device and making it brand spanking new. The good thing is, once you do this, and once you have root access, you can use apps like Helium, uh, Titania Backup, AppSync. You can use a bunch of different apps to back up and restore your stuff, so you do not have to worry about losing it. Once you have root access, uh, Titania Backup will back up all your apps, and you can schedule it to back up your apps at a certain time each day, each week, each month and then you never have to worry about losing all of your stuff. And at the computer it's saying, waiting for your device to finish booting up, it might take a while, just wait. Once your device is back up, go through initial setup or skip through it, enable USB debugging. So you have to enable that once you do an unlock, because like I said, it's completely wiped. So tap the build number seven times, press okay on the script, so we'll do that. All right, so over here, we're just gonna fly through this as quickly as we can. We're gonna skip all, well, I guess I have to log in, so whatever. All right, so I connected the Wi-Fi, but I'm not gonna actually like sign into anything, so not now, not now. Next, next, next. Setup is complete, so we're gonna drag down this, go to about tablet, we're gonna go to build number, and then go back, and there's developer options, and then uh, that, so that's on, that's good. USB debugging, press OK, and it's gonna pop up that little thing. I'll always allow OK. Now we can go back to the computer. All right, now we're back at the computer, we can hit OK, and then we need to click uh, root. Now, I also recommend pressing flash custom recovery. I highly recommend that. I mean, you don't have to, it's up to you, but with custom recovery, you can do more things. You can make an Android backups without using a computer. And you can even make an Android backup using an USB OTG on the Go cable and store your Android backup on a flash drive if you have a small 16 gig uh, Nexus 7. Or if you necessarily don't want to store your Android backups on your Nexus 7 because it's all internal based. And if you ever wiped it on an accident, you'd be screwed. So we're going to hit root. And it says... This device is soon, blah, blah, blah. This will overwrite Android stock recovery. Press OK. It says checking ADB status. Device connected. Rebooting into bootloader mode. Checking fast boot status. Device connected. Booting modified boot image to enable running privileged commands. Waiting for your device. Alright, so we'll unlock it. Device detected. Pushing root files to your device. Rebooting your device into bootloader mode. This is probably where it's installing the custom recovery. Checking fast boot status. Device connected. And flashing custom recovery. Booting twerp temporarily. Now it says rooting. To finish the process, to check to make sure you're successfully rooted, open Super SU. All right, so we're gonna go ahead and open up our next seven here. Now we see Super SU in our app drawer, so that's good. No 
thanks or yes. I'm already following him on Twitter and Google Plus. So, and I always uncheck uh, reauthentication. It's just annoying, and yeah, I, 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 I disable it. Open the BusyBox installer free. Grant super user permissions under will be installed to. Press the system bin and switch to X bin. Optional, but recommended. All right, so on our device, we'll open up the Play Store. Ah, I'm uh, not signed in. Hold on. All right, I went ahead and signed into a Google Play account so I could download this. And uh, I'm gonna down. I'm gonna look for BusyBox. Right there. Uh, there's a free version. I'm gonna go ahead and press update. Continue. Open. And then grant it super user permission. It says to switch it from bin to X bin. So we're making sure that's right there. Alrighty, now we can hit install, and uh, I choose smart install, I don't know, you can hit normal or smart, it's up to you. Alright, the installation was successful, so we're done with this, we could just hit home. Alrighty, it says, enjoy your rooted device. Remember, now is a great time to make a full clean backup. If you're unfamiliar with making backups, utilize the walkthrough in the backup utilities interface. Press OK to exit the script. Now, before I exit the script, I want to go ahead and say, if you'd like me to make a video showing how to flash stock and unroot, please let me know. I can follow this video up with another video on how to flash 100% stock and lock it, which basically is unrooting it like it says in the top part of this thing. So if you want to see that video, please let me know. One last thing just for sanity check. We're going to go to uh, root checker by Joey Krim, an amazing developer. Press accept, press open, and then it's gonna say agree, and then okay, and then verify root access, it should pop up with grant, sweet. Congratulations, you have root access, so everything went well. I just wanna show you this real quick. If you go to the Google Play Store, there's an app you can download called Goo Manager. It's got a it's green box, it says goo.im in it, and then from here you can press this little menu button, install open script recovery, press yes, and then that's how you'll check to see if there's an update. The toolkit just installed 2600, so we're good there. So we can just press no. But if you're not sure which version you are on, or if it's definitely a newer version than you have, just press yes and it'll start downloading and it'll install it and it'll be like a self-automated process. And to get into your recovery, just press your root recovery and then press yes. And it'll pop up. And in a second here, you should see Torp Recovery if the toolkit did everything properly. And it did. We have Team Win Custom Recovery on our Google Nexus 7 version 2 FHD 2013 edition. If this is your very first time booting into the Custom Recovery, I recommend going to Backup and then choosing Boot, System, and Data. I don't recommend the recovery because they could update the recovery in the future and then you're storing an older version that maybe has issues or something and cache will rebuild itself. I do recommend making enabling compression to make the backup size smaller. And if you have a USB OTG cable, just press this little button and choose on the OTG and press OK. And then you can just press swipe to back up and it'll back up your entire Nexus 7. So if anything ever happens, or you're stuck in a boot loop or etc., you'll be able to just restore this image and be back to exactly the way things were before swiping to back up. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. That's all I ask. It took a long time to put all this together, so I'd really appreciate it if you go ahead and click the like button on this video. If you're new here, please make sure you don't leave this video without hitting the red subscribe button below. And for those of you that have subscribed, thank you very much. In the description below, you'll find links to everything you're gonna need to root your Nexus 7, my Nexus 7 playlist, and links to follow me on Twitter, Instagram, Vine, Facebook, everything. In the description, it'll say, click here to show more, or press here to show more, or whatever. Please click that and expand the description to see all the links. This is What Would Josh Do, and I'm out.